Hey guys, it's time to Nefis and Chill. In this video, I am recording in a four-man dungeon instance called March of Sacrifice. And uh, I'm here because I want to showcase one of the new types of assistants coming to the Elder Scrolls Online uh, called, well, not, not anything official, but her name is Giladil the Rag Picker, and she joins four other types of assistants available to players. Um, through the crown store or otherwise uh, through the game um, in ESO. So right now we have a banker, a merchant, and Grasharag, the armory assistant, which you cannot use in uh, PvP zones or leaderboard instances in PvE. And we also of course have Pirari the smuggler that not a lot of people use despite being awarded through the Thieves Guild questline because she does take a cut of your um, stealing and fencing if you sell the uh, stolen items to her. But yeah, Gilada the Ragpicker is going to be basically your mobile deconstruction assistant. And what that means is, as I'll show you here, as she'll explain herself. The clitter clatter of unwanted things. <laughs> Music to my ears. You just hand over your junk, I'll make you a fair offer in useful goods. Yeah, as she said, uh, she is a. Uh, junk lover <laughs> and she is going to take whatever you want uh, and deconstruct it and she does have three dialogue options we have goodbye we have dismiss which means you summon her goodbye just simply ends, ends a dialogue and if we go into the deconstruct window there are going to be a uh, quite a few features here well not quite a few but a few features here we're going to have five categories for you to peruse we have the all weapons pearl jewelry and glyphs which are just glyphs and we also do have an option to include or not include items stored in your personal bank on your account um, something i wish the base game had well obviously that's going to be one of the two upsides to having a uh, an assistant like her uh, who just deconstructs your stuff um, we also do have different filters just in case you want to filter out specific things in the all category um, so, for example, we can have just the blacksmith items like the heavy armor pieces, the swords, the great sword, and what have you. But we can also include other categories at the exact same time with uh, blacksmith like, you know, uh, clothes. You also can do up to pretty much all five categories. Obviously, there's no point to doing this if you're in the all category, but something to consider perhaps if you were in the apparel section. Uh, you you just want to see the heavy armor and not the medium armor, the light armor, you can just go with blacksmithing. And how this uh, assistant works is, basically you can't have her in PvP zones, you can have her in dungeons as demonstrated here, or in trials as you go along, you can maybe deconstruct things. Uh, your, skill point, your skill passives still matter for crafting, so you still need things like uh, unraveling or the other extraction passives through jewelry crafting and so forth to get the most out of her. And of course, you know, the amount of inspiration or experience points you get from, you know, deconstructing things towards your skill lines still is the same amount as you, as, um, you would get from going to a blacksmithing station and deconning these swords. So nothing really uh, different about the functionality, uh, but there is, of course, a difference in how uh, the medium works in terms of, you know, you're out uh, in the open world and you just want to decon stuff rather than um, depositing stuff into your personal banker if you have one or going to a town and deconning things or going back to your house and deconning things. Uh, obviously, this won't, obvious, you know, this won't, you know, change the fact that despite her being able to be put into houses for people's use, whether you are running a guild hall or for your own personal home, for your guests or whatever, uh, that won't deter you or, you know, uh, put you off of putting your own crafting station is anyway so uh, there's no real you know upside to that but again as you'll see here decon's just fine unless some awful bug happens uh once this assistance is available but yeah uh personally i don't think i would buy it i can see some use for this for some people uh because what i typically do i don't know if anyone else does this let me know in the comments below if you do this i have a personal banker um, assistant Tithis, and I just put the stuff I want to decon later into it if my inventory gets full or is near full, and then I just go visit, you know, my house or um, a town where there's, you know, convenient crafting station locations, 
and I just kind of go around and decon it. Um, I don't know how much time you would save with this assistant, but probably a bit, depending on where you're going or how close your crafting stations are to the entrance of your house. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys do. Uh, obviously, uh, yeah. Uh, some people probably ask how much the assistant is. So, every assistant so far, from the merchant to the banker and, of course, the recent armory assistant, uh, has been 5,000 crowns. I will not be surprised if Gilladil the Ragpicker is 5,000 crowns as well, unless they somehow consider the service of the construction not worth 5,000 crowns. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching, and stay safe, and see you guys next time.